This video is made with AI in just a few hours and I'll show you how to do it. But how do you escape an enemy that defies explanation? An enemy that leaves only fear in its wake. Fear, it drives them, binds them as they embark on a journey not just to survive, but to uncover the truth. Now, you probably agree that this is not some box office hit, but I don't think we're going in that direction yet. But I do believe that we're witnessing a come up of one-man productions such as anime, short series or even movies. So if you're ready to make your own AI movie, let's start at the beginning. You can also do this yourself, but in my case I used ChatGPT to do all of the initial brainstorming. I used three different prompts. So the first one is I'm working on an apocalyptic AI movie and I need you to generate five different unique theme and look ideas. They should be simple enough to include them in every prompt I will use to generate initial pictures. Okay, so we have five different ideas. Um, I think I'll go with the third one, Desert Wasteland. So then we have the second prompt. Note, I will also include all of these prompts in the comments and also in the description so you can use it yourself. Now, the only thing you have to do with the second prompt is change the number to whatever you choose. Okay, this is it. So it all looks good. Okay, so for example, frame five, we have theme is virtual apocalypse, look, surreal, holographic, glitchy, digital mirage. Description, a digital landscape morphs into a lush, otherworldly forest with towering holographic trees. So what I would do then, which I will show in the next step, is I would combine the theme, look, and the description prompts, um, just use it in my way. Now, the third prompt we have is now create a voiceover that matches the frame story, theme, look, and make it dramatic. Okay, that's it. Looks great. The reason we're using Think Diffusion and not some other AI image generator is because we can control every little detail and that includes the style, the, the hair, um, even pose of the people in our images. So before we start generating, um, there are just a couple of things I would make sure. So sampling steps, uh, let's do 30. We'll use SDXL um, and Juggernaut uh, model. Um, and width is going to be um, 1280 and the height is going to be 720. And also make sure to generate in batches of at least three. Um, you can do more, uh, but it will take more time. Now you just go to frame one, copy the prompt, go back to Think Diffusion, and click generate. And let's see. Hopefully we get something awesome. All right, here it is. So we got three pictures, and they look cool. They look really good. Now you just only click this button. Um, and make sure to save all of them. Um, the first one is just a composition of all three pictures. So that's pretty much it. You just go frame by frame and you paste the prompts into Think Diffusion. The second frame is a close up of a uh, protagonist's face uh, with digital glitches flickering uh, on their skin. So, all right, here they are. Um, they look amazing. Like, can you look at this quality? And yeah, if you wanted to, we could literally change anything in these pictures. With Think Diffusion, you can literally outpaint, in paint, uh, you can change anything. So yeah, go through all of the 15 frames, do what I just showed you, uh, just copy and paste the prompts and hit generate. Also make sure to save all of the pictures that you generate because not every picture will look good and you want to pick the best one in the next step. I prefer keeping some still images because I like to add different slideshow effects and this is perfect because not every frame will look good after animating it. Now let's start. Use Gen 2, click the start with image 
and choose the image plus description option. In my experience, if you use image and the description, the final animation just looks much better. So let's upload our first frame. All right, and now let's also copy first frame's description. What you want to do is remove the theme, look and description words. And now just click generate. Now what's good about Runway is that you can actually work with different videos at the same time. So I can now select a different frame and I can click generate again. And I can do it with as many frames as possible. Um, so what I would do is I would just go through all of the pictures. Um, I would copy the prompts and just start generating them. Now let's see how the first video looks. All right, so it looks pretty cool. I like the animation, but maybe I don't like how the sky looks here. So let's see how the second video looks. All right, yeah, this looks great. So now just go through all of the frames, do what you just did and use the prompts plus the images and that's it, just click generate. This is the last AI app we will use. The only thing that we need to do is we go to ChatGPT, we copy the whole script, and we just paste it here in the text box. Now also, depending on the type of um, video you're making, um, you can also choose a different sound, and I will go with Rachel. Um, now we just click Generate, and that's it. When it's done generating, just click the download button here and that's pretty much it. Now you got the images, you got the videos and you also got a voiceover. After deciding on which content you will use, create a nice mix of images and the videos, add the background music, voiceover and you should get something like this. In a world where reality and the digital realm have merged, where the line between the tangible and the intangible has blurred, a virtual apocalypse has unleashed chaos and wonder alike. Meet our hero, a wanderer in this surreal mirage of existence, haunted by the very glitches of their own identity. In a society of survivors, huddled around flickering campfires, they cast holographic shadows and grapple with the enigma of their existence. But from the pixels emerges a sentient being, So thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more.